All right, hello, welcome. I'm uh, PG Thai Botting. Uh, welcome to Just One Thing. Um, we're here, we're here in the World Modern East headquarters, uh, enjoying the facilities and enjoying our time together. So for this jot, I've got uh, some guests. We've got PG Craig here and Guru Larry, and we're gonna do a guest jot, and it's all about roof block and some considerations for you. So I'll turn it over to PG Craig. Thank you, sir. Okay. All right. Thanks for having me. Over to you. So. The roof block is obviously a staple in most Filipino systems. So what I'm gonna give you is a little take on some of the emphasis and stuff. So from here, your roof block, if we're thinking of basically a shot to the head, is this position here. You don't want your hand in front of your head because obviously your hand becomes the target. You wanna protect basically your head using the stick area here. And this is gonna be the focus. So remember, a lot of times if I just place it there, then it crashes through. So if Larry gives me a, a through strike and I just put your stick down, the stick basically recoils. And again, if my head is in front of that, guess what? There. So when he hits, I want the impact. See, get the redirection. So now in terms of distancing, there's a couple things I focus on, whether I'm entering or whether he's really going for that swing and I wanna get out. So if I get out, there, it falls through and it clears the path so that way I don't get hit either in my leg or my body. My hand stays behind my weapon, which is key. So for long range, I intercept and take the energy. If I don't intercept and I just place it there, it crashes down. And if my body or my arm is in front, I'm gonna get hit. So now if I want to enter in that, I wanna make sure I time it. And when I time it, I want to intercept. He's going to, for now, for demonstration purposes, Larry is going to freeze the stick and an in strike. I'm going to intercept. Now my hand, if I place my hand here, my wrist bone is going to get hit. What I emphasize is here. So as soon as that stick intercepts and you hear that click, your hand is going to be in that position a fraction of a second behind. So again, he's going to hit. I'm going to go here. And you notice my hand doesn't bounce off the stick. The stick takes the energy from his strike. So if he goes through now, he's gonna give me a, a fall through strike as I enter. Boom. My stick hits, and that allows me to grab a control and put me in position that I can counter. And again, based on whatever system you use, I can throw in a punch, I can throw in a thrust, or I can throw in a strike. Now you notice with the two distances, the one gets my body out of the way. He gives me a through, boom. I get out of the way, then it allows me to follow up. If I'm going to crash in and try to control his stick, I'm hitting the stick and grabbing. So it's hit, grab. The in-between stages is where I don't want to be because that means I'm going to be, he's going to be on the extension and I'm not going to have that good entry and you notice the position I'm in right now, this is the in-between stage. I'm not here, and I'm not here. I'm in between, now I become the nail to his hammer. And that's when you end up getting hit, either your hand or a limb. So those are the, th those are the emphasis when we use it. So this could be in simple drilling from this position. Okay, if he gives me in, one, and I follow up. Distance in, and he follows through, and then I strike. So that's the big emphasis on focusing. And the key thing about the roof block is it's not a placement, it's an interception or a hit. So that way you kill some of that energy to be able to control or move out of the line of fire. So that is my emphasis on the roof block. Hopefully you, take, you can take away a little of something of that and give it a try and see what you think. All right, good deal. Thank you, PG Craig. So, if you like these videos, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we will catch you next time. I've got a lot more interesting things coming out, um, so keep following us, and, and we'll see you later.